Hi everyone, I'm Ming Bridges and you're watching the AU Review. Hi, I'm Ming Bridges. I am a Eurasian singer-songwriter living in Singapore. I've currently released two albums, an English one and a Mandarin one, Ming Day and Who Knows, in Singapore, Taiwan, Malaysia, Indonesia and China. And yeah. Yes, this is actually my first time in Seoul in Korea and it's really, really exciting. I'm so thankful to be part of this whole experience. Tonight I'll be performing five songs. Basically, I decided this is my first showcase in Korea. I wanted to bring out the fan favorites. So the first two songs are Sweet Misfortune and Under the Stars, one of my favorites of my English album. And the other two um, are Mandarin songs and they're written by my amazing managers, uh, Xiao Han and Eric. And um, I'm not sure if there's going to be any Mandarin speaking friends in the audience, but um, they're beautiful, beautiful songs and I just love performing them. And for my final number, I'll be performing my latest single, Summertime Love, which is an upbeat, dancey summer hit. So I'm really hoping the audience can dance with me uh, for that one. <laughs> Well, during the summer, I was doing a lot of things. I was at Glastonbury and I witnessed a lot of summertime romance, like people um, sort of getting together, having that spark, that summer fling where everything's so carefree. There's not a care in the world. You just want to be happy and enjoy what you're doing, enjoy life. And that's basically what the song is about. So when I perform it, I really hope that the audience can capture a sense of spark, of, of romance, of of happiness and of just letting loose and just enjoying it. Um, well, my first album came out last February and ever since then I started touring in Singapore and as more people heard my music, I was very fortunate to get more exposure and managed to go to Taiwan to learn more Mandarin and release a Mandarin album there. And from there, it just, I think that was a major part of my career where my music just got heard all over and I got the opportunity to go to China to perform, tour Malaysia, uh, we're looking to go into Indonesia very soon with a new album. It's just been crazy. I'm just so thankful and I'm loving every minute of it. Um, I, was, I was really lucky um, to be asked to be the first Singapore artist to feature on MTV Sessions, which is a huge deal to me. I mean, when I was growing up, I used to always like write those cards and cut out little heart shapes and send in requests and from being that little girl watching TV hoping that my song will get chosen to getting to perform on MTV is just out of this world it's just unbelievable and um, I'm still pinching myself today I'm so happy I get all these experiences to share my music because singing really is what I love doing and um, I just hope that I continue to have more and more chances to share my music with everyone well, my new English album will be coming out in December, so we're definitely looking to tour with that. And next year, we're hoping to release a Mandarin album around springtime. So it'll be cool. I'm really excited because it's been a while since I've had an English release. And um, on my Facebook, we were checking it the other day, and we saw, oh, we actually have quite a, a number of English fans. And this is a great opportunity. I just want to get out there and explore the market and see as many people as I can and just spread my music. And it's quite interesting now that I can go to more English countries and then with my Mandarin album, go to more Mandarin speaking countries. And yeah, I'm just so excited for it all. Normally with my music, I'm, I'm a bit of a guitar person when, I, when it comes to writing songs and I'm pretty comfortable with that. But with this new album, I feel that we've taken more risks. We've tried to experiment a bit more. So there is some old familiar sounds but we've tried to get some more energetic dancey vibes so i'm really hoping my audience respond well to this while being in korea i've had the opportunity to meet with some k-pop artists which was very exciting and we're exploring different collaborations different opportunities so i will i can't tell you guys about it yet but i'll keep you guys posted <laughs> I was born in Sydney and I'm an Australian citizen and every year I go back to Sydney once or twice. Um, I love it. I think Sydney has the best fireworks, best New Year's, hands down. And Australia is such a colourful place. I just love it. I love going shopping there. I mean, the outfit I'm wearing right now is from Australia. <laughs> Australia. Definitely. That would be one of my dreams to get to go to Australia. I think with this new English album, as more people understand it, hopefully I'll have the opportunity to go to um, Australia and share my music. Definitely. Um, I just want to say thank you, everyone, for all your support. You mean so much to me. I really put all myself in my music and I hope that you're able to connect with it. And if it helps you or you enjoy it or it makes you smile, that makes me very, very happy. And um, continue to support me and hopefully I can come see you guys soon.